All right. In this video, we're going to give you the quick basics on how to run the PVC flues for the furnace venting. Rule number one. Make sure that your vents are level when they come out of the house. Otherwise, when you go to put on the concentric kits, uh, they will look horrible if they are crooked or you might not be able to put them on at all. So make sure it's level. So for the exhaust, you need a screen and a coupler. For the intake, you have an elbow and you want the exhaust to stick out six inches past the intake. So that is how it looks on the outside of the house. All right, rule number two is slope. You need to make sure you always have a quarter inch of slope per foot. And probably the most convenient way to do this um, is to start with a two by six. Also, you need to make sure that you secure your pipes at least every six feet. And I like to start with a standing two by six, followed by a standing two by four. And next, you can't see past the duct here, but there's, it's two by four that's laying down. Beyond that, you could do something like an S-clip, as you see here. And then if you're going even farther, you could have an S-clip on the bottom of the joist to keep that slope going. And as you can see, I keep sloping until I come out of the joist there. Rule number three is glue and primer. Make sure every joint is sufficiently glued and primed and then push your pipes together and hold them until they're dry enough they do not want to push back out. Rule number four is secure your pipes. This is especially important where they drop out of the joists. If you secure them front to back and side to side then when the plumbers come through and they're shoving pipes around and the electricians are yanking their wires and trying to stick can lights up in the joists and the insulators are coming you won't have issues with them yanking your pipes around and causing you problems and it's also nice a couple feet up from the furnace if you stripe your pipes they'll be nice and sturdy you won't have to worry about them getting yanked around that's especially important on your intake that's not very durable but if they're strapped they will not go anywhere and a nice touch if you're going up to three inch just to have your reducers at the same height there looks nice and that's it that is the basics for running your pvcs for the furnaces